Hi everyone, this is High Priestess Nayla Latrice and I am here to give you guys your messages. Great Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay, here we go. We have something important such as a new job or a raise, okay? So I feel like at this time, you guys are uh, focused on your money. You guys are focused on new opportunities. You guys are focused on work. You guys could have uh, put out some jobs, uh, applications, okay? And you guys could be receiving some type of call back for interviews as well. You guys could be connecting with other um, creatives and uh, um, other uh, entrepreneurs as well, okay? You guys could be uh, 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 making different collabora collaborations or having different collaborations, okay? Just coming together, networking, okay? You guys are just um, getting to know people. You guys are focused on work, money, putting yourselves out there, nurturing your ideas, creating plans and so forth. You guys can book down below uh, in the description bar so your... Um, business coaching sessions with me we have not unsuccessful plans here so there's some type of plans that you had that's going to be unsuccessful or that was unsuccessful or there's some type of uh, job that maybe that you were expecting and that didn't go as planned so now it's having you to go into a new direction <clears throat> i'm telling you my throat chakra you guys may need to clear your throat, but we go get these messages out, right? Okay, because winners never quit on themselves. Okay, so there's definitely uh, some type of plan that somebody may have to try to mess with your money as well. Take this message how it resonates. Somebody could have uh, tried to mess with your money or uh, stand in the way of you getting some type of raise, but they're going to be unsuccessful. Okay, we'll dive into it. But look, Arrow Spirit says that you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So these, it wasn't meant to work out, okay? Whether this is somebody else causing this to happen or whether this is just how life is and you, what the plans you put out didn't turn out the way you thought, that's how it was supposed to be. To you, on the surface, it feels unsuccessful. But Spirit says you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And look, even if you have unsuccessful plans, Spirit says you will be taken care of in difficult times. So that is your reassurance. Spirit saying, I got you. Don't worry about it. If you feel like your plans are not going according to plan, okay, look, your plans aren't going according to plan, uh, then trust and believe that spirit still has you. Spirit is taking care of you even if you feel it's difficult, especially if this is unsuccessful plans with money. But we're about to see what all of this about is about. Also, we have older man at the bottom of the deck. Dealings or relationship with an older man. So there's an older man in your energy. This could be um, a, a, a father figure. This could be a boss figure. This could be um, a, a spouse, someone that you're getting to know, that you're connected with, okay? Let's just get straight to the point. What's this bag about? Bag. I like the Kipper deck because it's like you just get straight to the point. Who is this? What is it? Bag. What's bag? Oh, here we go. Concern. Yeah, somebody could be worried, thinking about your money. Somebody, or you could be concerned about your money, 33, okay? This is ancestors, ancestral as well. Your ancestors are concerned, could be concerned or something as well, and they're telling you that, that you're taken care of. They can see that you're concerned. Or some of your ancestors, they may be, you know, uh, not concerned about you, but kind of just saying, hey, we, we got you. What is this fear? Look, something is coming up in the distant horizons, okay? This is the near future, F feature, future, false person. So there could be, watch out for people coming into your energy um, in, in regards to money and so forth, okay? Could watch well, just an uh, older man as well. Okay, look, look at what pops out. We have wealthy man. So there's a wealthy man that is in your energy that could be concerned about your well-being. Like I said, this could be a father figure. So and let's say if you're a, a student or you just left away from home or something like that, or you could be in a, a connection or a relationship with a man, right? And your father is wondering if uh, how well you're really being taken care of. Okay, it could be something like that as well. 
But I also get the energy someone wants to come in and take care of you. This wealthy man is looking at you and they could be concerned with your finances and they want to come in and, and I'm here and like help you. Okay. We have 33 and 13, 3313, 333. Very important. Ancestral. Your ancestors are sending this person in. Also, you can have a male father figure. There's a lot of heavy masculine energy here. You can have a, a masculine father figure that's an ancestor ancestor that is uh speaking or working on your behalf as well blessing you with a supernatural um financial uh blessing this could be a job this could be you know just uh spirit making that one move on your behalf for you and look at the bottom of the deck great fortune i'm telling you there's some type of financial uh, and this is with the bag so there's some type of new job that you're getting there's some type of uh your business could be uh, being successful you could be getting more sales or clientele okay Okay. Un what this is what I really want to know. This unsuccessful plans. Unsuccessful plans. But also be careful about just people wanting to be in your energy um, about thinking about how much you're, you're, you 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 make. Somebody can be pocket watching is pretty much what I'm saying. Look, lovers, unsuccessful plans. Y'all y'all know what this is t turning into. I just I just see what it's look change i see what this is great spirit older man unsuccessful plans lovers this is somebody that could have had unsuccessful plans with you previously and they want to come back around because unsuccessful plans and then we have lovers okay this also could be your divine choices the divine choices that you were making were unsuccessful but you're still getting the change that you, you're still getting the outcome. You're getting the outcome and the results that you desired. It's just not because of the way you thought it was going to be. You was thinking, oh, if I do this, this, and this, it's going to lead to this. But you were doing this, this, and this, and you're not getting. So let me use this as an example. Let's say um, you're saying, okay, you know what? I uh, have to, you know, uh, uh, I need to... Uh, Increase my sales or get sales for my business because I want $10,000 every month, right? So you're focusing on your business and you're building your business. You're putting all this work in, doing all the behind the scenes stuff, all of this stuff. Why? Because you have a goal of earning $10,000 a month for your family, right? This is just the example that I'm using. So then all of a sudden you're putting all this work in. You're like, man, where's, where's my sales? Like I'm, I'm open. Like where, why aren't the people beating down my door? I'm advertising. I'm doing everything I can but nothing's coming in and then lo and behold next thing you know um you could be in the store and someone says hey what do you do and you tell them what you do and they say hey you know i want a whole shitload of that you know and it it turns out that it's fifteen thousand dollars and it's like whoa okay so you know you didn't get sales in the way that you thought that you were going to get those sales but you still got the end result of the uh of the uh what you were doing it for for that dollar amount and it ended up being more so just keep putting in the work that you're putting in those unsuccessful plans again you may feel it's been unsuccessful but you're still getting the same result you're still getting the change that you desire because spirit still sees the work that you put in spirit sees your dedication spirit sees that you were making the best choices possible here but also i do see with this unsuccessful plan and lovers and this uh, dealings with the older man and wealthy man and this person is concerned yeah they concerned because um uh they they didn't have plan their plans with you before it didn't work out also i'm hearing this person maybe their money wasn't successful okay they had a concern about their money okay about their own bag this wealthy man but now they're wealthy okay or maybe they were wealthy all along and just playing the game okay and maybe that's why they were playing the game and had unsuccessful plans because they're this wealthy thing and they thought you know they were arrogant and boastful or whatever the case may be you know but it's like they had to come to jesus is what i'm hearing so to speak or they you know spirit says set that ass down you know and spirit had to tell them about themselves and that happened when they met you or when they came in contact with you you was like no i'm not the average chick i don't chase dick how about that it's like 
Come on now. And they, they, they could be used to having people chasing them because they got this money or they have a high figure because they're this authoritative, wealthy man. And they seem to feel like, hmm, how do I get the collective? Because... They different from all these other females. It's like, I'm offering them a drink and they saying, no, thank you. You know what I mean? It's like, they ain't thirsty. You're not thirsty. But yeah, but in, if you feel like your work plans weren't going according to plan or your life plans, whatever you were doing, still, you're, do, you're on the right path. Remember, we saw Arrow. You are on the right path. So just keep going. OK, this person wants to come in and take care of you as well. We all, all, all already know that your ancestors are here taking care of you. But this person, this older man, they're wealthy. They want to take care of you. OK, we have unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Also, we have a meeting with a stranger could be important. This person could, could also be a new person that's coming into your life as well. OK. To help you with your unsuccessful plans, there's so many ways that this could be read. Either way, this is a spiritual connection here for you. Look at what we have here. We have change that's coming in a distant uh, horizon. So you can see the changes happening. It's distant horizon. If it's distant horizon, you can see it. You can see it on the horizon. So trust and believe it and keep calling it in. This bird, the ancestors, is guiding this entire uh, ship coming in. And look at how weird this is, so to speak. The ship is flying. So you're going to have something extraordinary happen. 10, uh, it was 11, uh, 10 and 11, 11 when I said that. Go and run that back and watch that timer. Okay. You guys are having something extraordinary happen to you because you guys are extraordinary here. This is a ship out in the sea. It has an anchor, but yet it's flying. You can see it. It's up in the air. Spirit says you won't be able to miss this blessing and it's going to change your entire life here. Whatever this is, this could be, like I said, this man that's in your energy. Okay. This person wants to send you a message or you have some type of message that's coming in towards you. Another one for this unsuccessful plans, unsuccessful plans expectation okay you're expecting something also these are two people that look like having sex okay an expectation you could be pregnant or finding out you're pregnant okay or maybe it was a false alarm with unsuccessful plans as well or something like that is okay you could wear chokers or really like necklaces here. You could have an old vintage style um, dress, the way you like to dress, the way you like to have your home. It's just very old school here, Marilyn Monroe type of energy, okay? Very classy, very regal type of energy. Very wine and champagne, you know, pinky finger in the air, but you're very down to earth. You're a good, you're a good, very, res very resilient, very beautiful, classy, wise woman, okay, that I'm speaking to here, no matter your age. Yeah, look, message of concern. This man is concerned. You're going to receive a message of concern. This is you receiving this message of concern from this mature man. When I say you have heavy masculine energy all in your, all in this read, this could also be you receiving um, uh, messages from uh, ancestors that have passed over. So you could be receiving, you know, type of some type of signs and synchronicities um, that uh, that uh, uh, to let you know that they're around you. OK, so only you'll know that. But this is your confirmation that that's who it is or what it is. If you have a mature man that has passed. Also, I feel like you're receiving uh, downloads from your ancestors and so forth, you know, different messages. OK, with this message. Messages of concern here. Okay. Yeah, look. And then we have imprisonment and then mature woman. And then we have this change because they hold you at high honor here. Okay. This imprisonment here, this person is in their head about you. That's this message of concern. They can't stop thinking about you. They feel like you're you're locked away from them and like they can't have you. Okay. What staff? Staff, you will be taken care of. You're expecting something. Excuse me before I go on. What is uh, the collective expecting? Because you're expecting something. You're, yeah, that's, thank you, Great Spirit. Because you feel like your plans have been unsuccessful. You know you've been putting in the work. You know the choices that you've been making. You know you have been connecting and talking to spirit, you know, and going outside, ground and doing your work. And you're expecting something. Even if you feel like, okay, maybe my plans, maybe I, maybe I completely fucked up. Maybe the plans and stuff I had, spirit was like, baby, that's not it. That is not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, but you like, okay, look, all my hard work, 
heart's still not about to go into vain. Like, spirit, you just gonna have me doing all this work for all these years towards this thing and then it still ain't working out? Like, no, nah, I've been busting my ass. So you expecting something. You expecting spirit to, to, to respond to you and give you this great fortune here. It's like, come on, spirit. It's like, it's like, come on. It's like, you got to give me a little something. Look, you have a new beginning. And then we have child. Someone's expecting a child. Somebody's plans went left. You had a plan to do one thing, okay, with this unsuccessful plans. And then something just completely went different for you here, okay? But also, this is saying, so yes, some of you guys could be expecting this new child. But also, some of you guys are having this brand new beginning. You're expecting a brand new beginning, okay? Again, ancestral. You're expecting a brand new beginning in work. You're expecting a, a, a new beginning because you put in a lot of toil and labor. You've uh, you've uh, been um, breaking generational traumas and so forth for all of these generations. So many things have been passed down. So much knowledge and wisdom has been passed down to you, okay? Okay, and it's like you've been putting in the work either way, and it's like, okay, it's like, man, staff, you will be taken care of, but your ancestors are saying, I'm going to take care of you. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Staff, staff, okay, whoop. Look, I'm telling you, this is all about work, judication, occupation. So some of you guys could be in the law field, okay? Or somebody could be in the law field, somebody that you're working with. Or there could be some type of legal contracts that you have to sign. But there is something with your work. You could be signing work, new work contracts, okay? Um, or paperwork. There's paperwork on this person's, on this judge's uh, desk, or at their, okay? So they're reviewing some type of paperwork and making a decision. So somebody could be looking at some type of paperwork, some Somebody could be looking at a contract. Somebody could be looking at your resume. Okay. And they're, they're, they're deciding what they are needing to do. Also, somebody could be going to, 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 to court. Okay. For a child support or any other type of court situation. Okay. And the judge is reviewing it right now. God is also judging or the universe is saying, if you're ready, so to speak, your ancestors is like, nah, child, she ain't ready. Or nah, child, she is ready type of energy. Okay. So spirit is reviewing all the work you've done to see if you, if all this work occupies patient all the work whether it's your money work or whether it's the internal work you've done on yourself okay they've looking at all the work you've done to see if okay you're ready for all of this but they're saying that you are that's why they're taking care of you here they always take care of you okay but they give you what you need at each moment to learn the lessons that you need to learn before they just release all this abundance to you okay yeah see with this um uh imprisonment here you could have felt left out yeah poverty you could have been in poverty, okay, or feeling left out, feeling like spirit has just forgotten about you. Also, this person is feeling imprisoned in their thoughts. They feel like you shut them out or they, if this is a new person, this is the type of energy that they're coming from. But this is an official person. You are an official person. It's like you're a winner, so fuck with a winner type of energy. Y'all both are official here. Yeah, you're a mature woman here. But Spirit is saying, we're going to take care of you in, in hard times. This has to do everything with your work. So if you guys were looking for work, Spirit is saying, I don't care how long it, you haven't been it with work, a year, two years, six months, a week, whatever. Spirit says, I got you. I'm going to take care of you. Okay, you also may need to make some type of final decisions about work, study something as well, open a book, okay, or close some things out, make some final decisions. Also, judication, okay, this is um uh, the judgment energy as well, so it's reminded me of resurrection and rising. Your work could be rising again, or, you know, you need to revamp some things about your work, redo some things, okay? You could be in your head about your work, deciding what the best direction for you to go in is, but look at what pops out here we have great fortune that was already at the bottom of the deck and privileged lady spirit says you are taken care of oh marriage i'm telling you there's a partnership here or either this is spirit coming through um okay with this divine connection here um because of your choices number three again three 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 this is you this is a uh, spirit okay and this is your partner here with all of these threes as well but this is the uh, uh, ascended masters that are working on your behalf for this connection you have a brand new family with this community here 
you're taken care of, whether it's from this wealthy man, this person, okay, that's coming into your life, or whether this is new career opportunity that's coming into your life, okay? The spirit, spirit sees you, and they're, that's what I was saying about earlier being concerned. They're concerned because they see you. They see that, you know, it's like, okay, um, they, they, they need some type of uh, help, or they need, you know, um, to be um, uh, some opportunities to be thrown their way, so to speak. You know, they've been putting in the work, and Spirit says, we got you you're taken care of you're privileged okay you know it you know that you are and spirit says marriage okay and let's get this older man and again you're meeting someone new older man what is this older man someone wants to marry you Someone sees you as the perfect partner, whether you see this or not. Guess what? If you're a lady watching this, which most likely you are because that's who I'm talking to, then guess what? You attract, never chase. The man is, 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 uh, is pursuing you. So that means they're the hunter. That means they see you already, baby. Okay, you think the lion when they going after they pray, you think that they just run up on it. The lion, they sit and they be watching they pray, watching they move, seeing what they doing, making sure that's good, that's a good meal, and and seeing like how am I gonna catch him and 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 yada yada yada, checking out the pattern. They supposed to see you already. Woo! Message. That was the message. So get that. Know that you. They supposed to come after you. You don't go after them. Allow a man to do for you. This man is about to send you a message here, baby, because you're a unicorn. Spirit is saying you're about to meet this new man or you're about to have this brand new experience. It could all be taken down, going down in August here as well. Okay, or they could be born in August. You could be born in August. Also, pen, new job or career. Yeah, because you've had some type of um, dissatisfaction with life, okay? You've been out and feeling left out, but this man sees you. He's been watching you, okay? However, he's able to watch you, whether this is somebody already at your job, okay? Um, whether this is something, I'm also hearing promotion. Somebody may be getting ready to promote you as well, okay? Um, but this could be like a boss that sees you as an employee, you know, or a staff. I like to say staff and that, you know, it's a boss uh, staff relationship type of situation. But whoever this is, whether this is somebody online, a lot of people are connecting online nowadays. Somebody has come across you, they see you, and they like what they see, they like what they hear, they like your energy, okay? They like how you make them feel. I'm hearing fantasize. This person is fantasizing about you, okay? Woo! The energy here. Yeah, this person is about to send you a message. What's this message about? What's this message about? What is this message about? Great Spirit, what is this message about? Thank you. Trust yourself, Spirit is saying message what is this message about one more what is this message about great spirit you can't make this shit up the ancestors are here y'all see this you see this they're in their head about you they don't want you to reject them whether this is somebody new or old okay i'm just letting you i'm just the messenger okay look thoughts they're in their head thinking about you thinking about you Thinking about you, eh, 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 thinking about you. Yeah, they like what they see. They like the fantasy. That's, I just got done saying, uh, Mariah Carey fantasy is coming into, um, to my head. I am about to even try to sing that right now. But yeah, they're sending you a message of courtship. I know y'all saw that come out. The number seven, the number four, um, the number 18, 28, 15, 26, 12, 30, and 34. That, that could be your ages, the years that you've known somebody, anything with those numbers. Take it how it resonates, okay? But yeah, this is very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and get your... Um, Let's get a romance angel and then we're going to get a song to close it out to, you know, let's see what song is uh, for this read. That's going to be very interesting. Okay, let's get a romance angel. Let's just get one romance angel here, Great Spirit, since this kind of turned out to be a love read, you know, love and work. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, retreat. Look, this person, they look like they're in the tux and a, a wedding dress. You guys could just be going off and getting hitched, just you two, and just, you know, just silently ducking off somewhere, you know, just doing y'all, getting to really know each other. Because, look, we have honeymoon right here. This person really wants to date you, court you. And then we have, oh, 
engagement. I'm telling you, your love life is ascending to a bigger level of commitment, okay? It doesn't mean somebody's going to get on their knee. This means that somebody is coming into your life to raise your love life from what it is to the next level. So if you're single, baby, your love life is engaging to be with somebody else, to be with somebody. You're going to be courted. You're going to be dated with this honeymoon, but somebody wants to court you. They want to marry you. They want to retreat with you. We saw that marriage card here. I'm telling you, you guys, children could be very important as well. You guys could be blending families. This person wants to show you who a real man is, what a real man is. It's like you've been dealing with them bums and spirit is like, no, we bringing you the real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Pearl Pep, uh, Pepsi, Pepsi, how you say her last name? Great spirit, what song? Okay, this one, okay, we got a few. Pressure, this month gone to pressure, I'm telling you, okay? This person is like, dang, you put me under pressure. And they know that thing thing got that pressure too, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that water, you know? So it's like they under pressure. It's like I'm seeing fire holes, like pressure, like the water is under pressure. So it's like they have a lot of sexual pressure and tension for you as well. I'm also hearing this person could be practicing retention, semen retention, okay? And they're under pressure, okay? And they ready to bust literally you know you know i ain't gonna go all there but that's what that's what it is you know we keep surreal oh i'm telling you what does it say hours and hours by mooney long they could go hours and hours with you they under pressure this just turned sexual hella quick this person they said they could go hours with you man in the bedroom but it's not just about the bedroom they can love on you for hours they can kiss on you for hours they can touch on you for hours they can listen to you for hours they can hug you for hours they can kiss you for hours they can play jokes with you for hours they can be cuddled up with you for hours they can cook and take baths and do whatever you want for hours and hours and and they'll just be happy. They just want to be with you for the rest of their life for just hours and hours and hours. It's like you can't do no wrong. But you could be being uh, ice cold or they're afraid that you're going to be ice cold. They know that you don't play no shit. You could be very intimidating and it's kind of like, you know, it's putting pressure on their ass. Like, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if the right time is now to, you know, approach uh, the collective because, um... Yeah, I just seen them behead and cut people off and, you know, or they just know that you've been through a whole lot, you know, maybe they know you have a beautiful heart and that you're really, you know, this kind person, but they also know that you've been through a lot of BS and so now you're a little bit more guarded and you're not just so easily to, you know, let your hair down with just anybody. Look what came back out, shoddy ice cold and touch my body, Mariah Carey. Isn't that funny? I just mentioned Mariah Carey, um, uh. I'm thinking a dream lover now, okay? But um, touch my body, Mariah Carey. So this person, they want to be sexual with you, clearly. Come and talk to me. They want to talk to you. I really want to see you. Can I talk to you? I really want to know you. Oh, 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 oh. There you are again with the same smile on each day. Come on, man. Man, just a jealousy. Somebody said, come and talk to me. They can go hours. You got that pressure. You got that, ah. You know, maybe you done already gave this person some because this is somebody that's returning. I don't know, but they like, hey. Or if this is somebody new, they know, they see you before they come in to approach you, you know. Or if this is somebody that you're just about to randomly meet in the grocery store and they not watching you, okay, for those singles. Because I really didn't mention that kind of, so to speak, but it's implied, you know. Um, this is how this person is going to feel about you and all of the unsuccessful plans and all of that is where they came from, where you came from. And now you guys are meeting up together. Okay. Um, and they could be kind of stressed out within this connection once they actually meet you, you know, cause it's kind of like, have you seen you lately? You fine. You look good as shit. You got your shit together. Okay, and we're not just talking about finances. We talk about who you are on the inside. You change lives, your energy, your essence. Okay, you're a unicorn. You're different. You're unique. You're very spiritual. Okay, you're mysterious. Okay, and they just don't know how to be around you. So they just in their head all the time because you're just so this ball of just beauty and just everything else of just, you know, goodness and, and goddess and just, 
you know, whatever. I'm heard, I'm hearing chocolateness, okay? So y'all, y'all could be some chocolate, very chocolate out there, okay? Yes, to the melanated. The more melanin, the better, right? But they love your skin. Absolutely. I also just heard, um, huh, some of you guys could be in a interracial connection and they love your chocolate dark skin. And it's not on some weird stuff. It's they're really be, uh, amazed by it. It ain't on, on that like, oh, I've always wanted to date a black girl type thing. No, it's they really admire you and they love your beauty and, and all that. Okay, go ahead. Do what you're doing, boo. But that shall read. If this sounds like this is for you, okay, if you want to go into more detail about your specific situation, okay, to know what's specifically happening for you, you guys go ahead and book your spiritual readings down below in the description bar. Also, your life coaching sessions can be booked down below in the description bar. They're one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls. Y'all can also get your $25 uh, ultimate uh, affirmation journal. It's 155 pages that I created okay uh, affirmations on money success relationships and a whole bunch of other stuff it's definitely worth it you can download it you can write in it and so forth there's space for that so go ahead and and cop that um and uh go ahead and like this video and comment down below how it resonated with you i am nayla latrice peace